Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are back in the garage working on the boat. And I am going to create the template for my marine mat, and I figured I would document it for anybody that wants to do this in the future and reference my video first. So when you order the marine mat template kit, this is what you get. You get this roll of plastic, you get a Sharpie, a six inch ruler, and an instruction sheet. And they tell you that you're also gonna need some masking tape and scissors and maybe a longer straight edge. So the kit that I ordered came with two sheets of this plastic. Each sheet is 88 inches long. And that's because that's the maximum length of the actual marine mat that you can order. So uh, for my boat, it's gonna require two sheets to cover the entire thing. So I'm gonna have uh, part of a sheet cover the bow of the boat and then I'm going to cut off the remainder and I'm going to use that as the template for about two feet of the back of the boat and then the second sheet will cover the remaining 88 inches of the deck here. So when you're thinking about marine mat for your boat just remember that the actual marine mat sheets come in sections that are 88 inches long so all right so the first step is to cut the marine mat template material to the rough shape and size of each area to be covered. Keep in mind that the largest piece of marine mat decking cannot exceed 88 by 44 inches without a seam. All right, now that I've got the template material cut to size, the next step is to use masking tape to secure it to the boat and pull it tight. You know, one complaint that I already have with this kit is that the sheets that they sent uh, haven't been squared off on the end. So when you go to push it up against a flat edge like this here, you have to push it up further than you typically would with a straight edge in order to get the coverage that you require which means you end up losing inches off the backside. So I'm probably not gonna have enough to cover the entire boat like I thought I would, which is kind of disappointing. So I'm not gonna let it bother me that much, mostly because I'm ready to get this boat done. But in the future, if that's what you're wanting to do with your boat, definitely consider it and maybe break out this template kit a few months in advance to make sure that these ends are cut square. All right, so we've got all of the plastic sheets cut to size, and now they've all been taped with masking tape to hold them in place. So step three is to use the Sharpie that they sent and trace the outline of where I want the mat to fit. So I'm gonna trace the border of the deck, and then I'm gonna trace around these cutouts here, and then also the cutout here for my hatch. Well, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I did get everything traced out. I got the perimeter of the deck all the way around, and I got the perimeter of the upper deck up here all the way around. I got where my hatch goes, and I got where the feet for my grab rail go. 
So next step, mark the orientation of each piece indicating bow, stern, port, and starboard. All right, so I'm gonna indicate the bow, stern, port, and starboard for each piece. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do just arrows like this. And this will be bow. One right here for stern. So now I'm gonna draw a line that crosses both of these sheets, so from here to here, and that's so that when this gets sent back to the manufacturer, they can align these two pieces correctly and rebuild the template. A, A. Now I'm gonna give each piece of the template a unique number. So I'm just gonna call this number one up here. And I'll circle it. Number two. And now I'm just gonna make a few notes on here. Like I wanna write cut out in each one of these so they know that there's actually a hole that's going to be cut out right here and same for the hatch I'm probably going to write that this is a hatch and that I want it cut out and I might make some kind of note about these cutouts here around these supports because that might get a little bit confusing if they don't know what's going on because this is probably not a typical detail on most boats so I want to make sure they understand what's going on there Okay, and now I'm just gonna use my phone to take pictures of everything and try to capture all the details of this template so that there's no confusion when I send it back to Marine Matt. I think probably the more photos, the better. It'll help them recreate this thing in the shop and hopefully uh, help us avoid mistakes. Well, the final step is to just fill out this template worksheet and it asks for things like style, area to be covered, uh, the surface type, uh, the design and color. I'll fill this thing out and then email the pictures and then box this all up and mail it back to Marine Matt and let them make the thing. Well, hopefully this video was helpful to someone out there. I know I watched a few YouTube videos on this before doing it myself, so uh, YouTube definitely helped me when researching how to create this template. We are one step closer to finishing this boat, so hopefully we will be fishing out of it soon. The next step for me after I get this template shipped off to Marine Mat will be to paint the top side. I'll get the top side painted and then we'll schedule a meeting with the game warden and have this thing inspected and see if I can get it registered. Then put the Marine Mat on when it gets in and we'll be good to go. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already and want to see this thing when it's finished in the first launch video, then don't forget to click that subscribe button. You all have a great week and I will see you next time.